When we were in rehab, we were cautioned about idle time and we did a lot of arts and crafts. But something I realized was that form of expression really, really helped me find out who I am. Because I think I have a negative mindset just because I've spent a lifetime being told that I couldn't do things or that I couldn't do them well. So even though I used to believe in myself a lot, along the way, so much negativity was programmed into me that I started to doubt myself. So now, 42 years later, I'm having to learn how to believe in myself and believe that I can do good things. Now it's been four years since I've gotten out of rehab and I spend every day trying to rebuild my life and learn new things about myself and use all the coping skills that I've learned in therapy and through independent study to get myself together. Because there's a lot of trauma going on here and I don't want to pass that on to my kids. So there are things that I do every single day and there are routines that I stick to so that I can stay balanced and healthy so that hopefully later on down the line, I can be a more advanced version of myself and it's gonna take a lot of work and I'm here for it. One of my biggest issues has been and continues to be self-doubt. And I have found that doing arts and crafts pushes me to believe in myself because I don't know how I do this stuff. The painting, all of those things, all the things that seem so easy to come to my kids, they just jump into stuff, making new things, making tables, and just creating all types of new art, and it seems to come so easy for them. But see, they're young, and they've been surrounded with people who have told them that they can do things. Me, I was surrounded by people that told me I couldn't do things. So now, I'm having to push myself and believe in myself. I'm learning that I have to encourage myself in these moments, or it's not going to get done in the first little piece of my entrance into a new piece of art might look a little raggedy but then the next one will get better and better and better and i've adopted this mentality when i'm cooking i'm trying new recipes that i was afraid to try because i thought i was going to mess up and i had to tell myself you probably will mess up it doesn't matter just try again you're only going to fail if you stop trying this is what i'm having to tell myself my internal dialogue and see this is why i don't have time for relationships i'm in a relationship with myself i'm my own teacher my own mother my own father my own cousin my own best friend i don't have time for anyone else up in here so i'm gonna make teddy bears i love teddy bears teddy bears dolls rocks bones feathers these are all things i've always loved my entire life i love them they bring me comfort hoodies, pillows, all these things. So I'm gonna start making that stuff. First of all, I don't like brand names. If I'm gonna wear a name all across my body, it's gonna be my own. I'm gonna start getting custom made pieces and doing stuff myself. I love to express myself, I love to create, and it's helping me mentally. It's helping me not zone out on media. It's helping me think. Because while I'm creating, I'm thinking about God and I'm thinking about all these existential questions and I'm planning my life. And you know how important manifestation and visualization is to creating the life that you want. So in these spaces, you get to connect with your ancestors and yourself and God, which are all the same things, but an extension of themselves, right? Interdependent. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying that space of learning who I really am because in the moment, like I see what I'm doing, but I'm not really tapped. I'm not really paying attention. I don't know. You look back at your art later and you're like, dang, I'm so surprised that I did that. I like that. It's very, very cool because I'm finding out who I am. Even in the studio, sometimes I'll hit a note or I'll just express a line in a way and I'm like, that don't even sound like you, girl. Who is that? Yeah, very encouraging. So I'm learning who I am. So yes, I'm making teddy bears. In the little box, these come in a bunch of different sizes. I've been getting very organized. I'm getting my whole house organized. I used my tax return to put in my savings. Then I paid off my debt, and then I upgraded organizing my house. But mostly I put it in savings. This is my little cutout. I got this on Pinterest. That's the hand and leg. I'm not really sure what part this is. I'm gonna find out though. I'm gonna finish cutting all that stuff out from my little game. I'm really becoming more adventurous. I'm so blessed to have the space to do that. I have set up my life in a way where I can focus on my growth and my development and the growth and development of my children. And as long as I manage my money properly and I don't spend outside of my means and, I, and I'm and i not like um, 
what's the word not erratic but uh spontaneous i guess don't make spontaneous purchases and things like that we're good and the developments that i make now within myself are aligning me with a wealthy future because every skill that you learn is a skill that can be monetized. I enjoy learning and I enjoy learning about myself and I enjoy strengthening my core in every way, which by the way, I've also started exercising every day. My son was like, you don't need weights and things of that nature to build strength. You have to do push-ups." So I've been doing my stretches all day long, um, especially after I eat or if I've been watching but like sitting for a while, I, I get up and I move around. So I'm making sure that I'm just more balanced. I'm not spending 12 hours doing one thing. I'm spending two hours doing this, 15 minutes doing that, 30 minutes doing this, an hour doing that. I'm trying to become well more balanced, you know, and working on it. Like I'm looking forward to working on this teddy bear. And I will talk to you soon. I'll let you know how far I've come. And we can take this journey together. I love y'all so much.